Welcome back, movie lovers, to HotThrowerStar.com, where we review the hottest and biggest movies out there. This time around, we are reviewing The Mummy, Curse of the Dragon Emperor. Brandon Fraser reprises the role of Rick O'Connell, Cavalier, swashbuckling soldier of fortune. Unfortunately, Rachel Weisz decided not to continue her role as Evie, Rick's partner in mummy chasing. Weiss is replaced by Maria Bello, a fine actress in her own right, but not really what audiences were looking for. Jet Li plays the title role of Dragon Emperor, bringing the martial art bag of tricks with him. <laughs> as well as an army of a thousand year old Chinese warriors. To this over the top action packed special effects extravaganza. That was a mouthful. <laughs> The original Mummy movie in the Mummy trilogy was a great film that played great homage to the old classic black and white Mummy films. Lots of action and suspense with a 10,000 year old love story wrapped in for good measure, pardon the pun. Good special effects mixed in with a good dose of tongue in cheek humor by Frazier made the first Mummy movie a pleasure to watch. The second Mummy was most notably a vehicle for Dwayne the Rock Johnson if you smell up the rock is cooking. Yeah, that's Peel's elbow. That's people's elbow. Yeah, that, oh, yeah, oh, that's what that is. <laughs> that's all you get, people. That's all you get. His role as a Scorpion King led to a feature film that was arguably better than the second Mummy film. Sorry, Mummy movie makers. You can call to your mummy all day long. Anyway, on with our review. Third installment of the Mummy franchise was timed exactly to coordinate with the opening of 2008 Olympic Games, which were held in... Beijing, China. Who said movie executives were dumb? Well, if you're into huge epic battles of good versus evil, where the good guys win, you won't be disappointed. Sorry to give away the ending. Thanks, writers. <laughs> Chen Li plays an incredibly magical reincarnated Chinese emperor who, along with his giant army of clay soldiers, is out to rule the world. A wide-ranging battle that includes everything from a three-headed fire breathing dragon to an abominable snowman takes place with Rick Evie, their son, caught in the middle. This mummy is definitely better than the second installment. For sheer special effects and action, it rivaled the first mummy. So if you are a mummy movie fan, then definitely check out The Curse of the Dragon Emperor. We give the mummy a solid six star rating. Here's a trivia question for you. Who starred in the original mummy and when? Since we all love old classic horror films, here at HotThrillerStar.com, we really enjoyed answering this question like this. The answer to the first question is legendary Boris Karloff. The year was 1932, considered to be the golden age of his movie-making career. Boris Karloff was known as a man of a thousand faces, also played the iconic Frankenstein monster. Now you know, so go out and check out some of this classic horror films. Email all your questions to crash at hotthrowerstar.com. Once again, I'm your host, Kariana, and I'll see you in the back row. We here at hotmoviestar.com give it a solid six-star rating. Star. Hot movie star. Did I say hot movie star? Yeah, hot movie star. Okay. At least I didn't say littleboysunderwear.com. <laughs> Jet Li plays a <laughs> Jet Li. He is my new character I just came up with. <laughs> Do you smell what the rock is cooking? Yeah, that was the people's elbow. That was the people's elbow. Sorry. I would do the people's eyebrow, but the, you know, the eyebrow is not, you know, not a, it's not a people person. We take Prozac for it, but it's still not working. But you know how that goes. Anyway, so what was the next line? <laughs> I want to do the martial arts thing again. I'm like, Mr. Roboto. <laughs> that was <it. laughs> I love it. All right. I grabbed Bob Saget's ass. True story. <laughs> I did. <laughs> the made for TV, wasn't no, I? <laughs> uh, we're starting a new section in our website called Celebrity Gossip, and I'm here to tell you that Amy Winehouse has been in the news lately, but people are giving her a hard time. I have to say 
that she's not as bad as people say. I have happen to have first-hand knowledge and I'm really good friends with her, like best friends, if you know what I'm saying. And she's not 87 pounds and smokes crack. She's at least not 92. And as far as her face peeling, well, that isn't happening any anymore. And anyways, um, just to let you know how awesome she's doing, uh, I personally brought Amy Winehouse because she's my best friend, you know. So Amy, so the Amy Hello. Winehouse, welcome to the show here at Hot Thriller Star. A Amy, you want to look at me? Hi. Uh, yeah. So. <laughs> We brought Amy Winehouse to the show just to sh tell you that she's uh, really doing well and she's, and she's, um, are you going to light that cigarette? Are you going to just chew on it? I don't want to on it. Um, but, okay. So, um, so what I was saying was is that I'm really, I'm in with the stars. Like, you know, we're, you know, Amy Winehouse, everyone. <laughs> 